good morning. It's um, October 31st, 2019. Oh, it's about 10.30 in the morning, and it's 4 degrees Celsius out here, which is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's been a little nippy in the mornings around here the last few days. Um, so I thought I'd get out my little gadget that I use to check to see if the bees are clustered. So what I've got is this, um, it's a little inspection scope, has its own little self-contained uh, video unit, and it fits right through the, the sliding entrances that I use, so that I can check and see if I can see a cluster of bees. Uh, it's just got a, I don't know if you can see in the end of that, it's just got a little tiny, like an 8mm camera on it. And it works. And there's a wasp <sighs> wanting to go in there. Let's see if I can kill him. <laughs> Got him. So anyway, um, so when I put the camera in hive one, I don't know how well we're going to be able to pick this up or not. Um, let's see if I can focus that. But there are. A ton of dead bees on the bottom of this hive. So what I've done is I've pulled the entrance reducer out and I've made a little uh, scraper thing out of this uh, oh, refocus, come on, out of this uh, just a coat hanger. So what I'm going to do is pull the dead bees out of there and have a look at them. Now, I did a, a, an inspection on Hive 2 and 3, and on Hive 2, I think there was one, maybe two dead bees on the screen, and there was none on the Hive 3. So this is uh, causing me concern that there's so many dead bees on the bottom of this hive. So let me get the uh, iPad set up here. See if we can't uh, zoom in. Uh, there are bees in here still, but I don't think there are as many. And I think the mites may have done quite a bit of damage to this hive already. So let's see if I can get in a little closer. There we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that. Um, little tool in here like so and pull out these so I can look at them a little closer yeah you can see This is not good, and they stink. Yeah, I can smell them. That is a lot of bees so far. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this hive is in trouble. Look at all these bees. Yeah, this is not very good. I'm afraid that the uh, mite issue is so bad that 
the winter bees never actually got a chance to to hatch out properly. See, there's a. Come here. That's a larvae that they pulled out. And he's got his tongue out, so. Yeah, that stinks. So this hive may not be long for the world. And it's not, well, turns November tomorrow, but. There's more larvae. And there's more young bees there. Yeah, I'm afraid the... Afraid the mites did a good number on this hive. There's more larvae that they pulled out. That looks like just about the whole population of the hive. Still pulling these. It's just sad to see already. Wasps.
think that's pretty much got it. But yeah, that's I'm checking to see if they have their yeah, a lot of them have their tongues out. That could mean they're starving to death already. They couldn't have starved out already, but it's possible. Well, I won't really know unless I take the hive apart, so. But I'm gonna wait until Sunday. It's supposed to get up around 12 degrees. And we'll see what happens. But I'm pretty sure this hive is uh, done for for this year I don't see any other way to fix that so so let's close them up Already. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, that doesn't smell good. You can just, I can smell it. So, so that's, uh, it could be starvation, but I was sure they had plenty of food resources in there along with a nice large pollen patty. But this hive has had a really high mite load. Well, let's have a quick look at the. I haven't actually done a second second oxalic acid on here, but I already see oh Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. Oh, it's got to be fifty more mites on this board. You see that there? Very long here. A lot of mites in there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I know what my plan for this hive is for the spring, and that's to do a split off of one of these other ones and get them uh, started again. Because that uh, dish full of dead bees to a sort of indicates that there's no bees left in here. So, I'd like to wish you all a happy Halloween. I'd like to thank you for watching and please keep on watching. I'll be presenting more.